cabin here in Mulligan, and uh, and this evening, Murdy's going to show us how he uh, do his boiled goose. Last three, four years, Murdy been always saying, uh, "Man, one of these days I'm going to have to boil a boil up a goose." And I said, "Boil a goose? We always bake them, you know. It was almost almost seems like a waste of goose to cutting up and boiling, but." It's kind of like an old traditional recipe. This is not a real big goose, but there's only two of us here, so that's that's perfect. And he got this one. Where do you get them goose from? I got this one in Summerside, PEI. Me and my buddy and my father was down there in October. This is the second time going this year. We go down to the outfitters, old time outfitters. Old time uh, outfitters. And this is where that goose come from. Highly recommended if he ever tries to go. We're going to go again this year, this will be the third year. They got a Facebook page, Old Time Outfitters. The owner's called, uh, name is George Mallet. Highly recommend it. Well, first thing you know, he's going to butcher the goose. shift of Labrador. We'll boil now for about two hours and throw some rice in there. Dough boys be next. Well, goose, rice, and dough boys. An old mulligan traditional meal. The Labrador Iron Chef. <laughs> A little bit of water. I already got my baking powder put in my flour. It's usually a teaspoon of baking powder with a every cup of flour. Start in the middle and work the way up and just keep adding the water. Just work the way in the middle. Work your way out. It's a teaspoon of bacon powder to every cup of flour. Colder water, the better when you're mixing it. You 
wants it sticky, but he wants to knead it a little, just a little bit. <laughs> My bowl's kind of small though. Small comes up big. When, when I put the cover on, I don't take it out. Cooks it for about 12 to 15 minutes, depends on the size. The size should be around 12 minutes. See what they turned out. Oh yeah, they're cooked. Huh? Oh yeah. Looks good. Smells good. Next is the taste test. <laughs> well, just look at that. And there's the dough boys. Boiled goose. Rice and dough boys. Man, I can't wait to try this. Uh, I've already been talking about this for a while and now I finally get to try it. I'm going to go read for the goose. This one, is, I think you said earlier, is a PEI goose. Tell you what, this is the first time I ever ate boiled goose. Well, I guarantee you, ain't gonna be my last. Yeah, I told you so. Oh, well, it's good. Yep. Now, mmm, very tasty. And I'm a, I'm a big fan of dough boys. You, know, you don't, you don't cut your dough boy. You kind of like tearing apart a little bit like that. Soak up a bit of that juice, a bit of that rice. Mmm. That is really, really good. Some rice, goose. Yes, sir, that's a fine meal. Anyway, I'd like to thank Marty for sharing uh, that recipe. And uh, appreciate y'all watching. Hopefully, we'll see you all in the next one. So, like always, thanks for watching. Until next time, and uh, I think we're going to be busy here for the next 15-20 minutes for sure. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, over and out. <laughs>